or unlucky, and the rest of you don't, and you're pretty lucky. I'm Tom McGinnis. I sing with the Believers Quartet, and and I came here to see my friends tonight. Give you a little update on Mike's mom. She had her surgery yesterday. They think they got it all, whether it's cancer or not. Bill's mom did not have a heart attack. She had some other kind of episode. She is out of Keep them in your prayers. I think your preacher's wife, your pastor's wife, uh, mother just got brought home from the hospital and they're trying to get her situated in a hospital bed. I don't know the rest of the prayer requests because I live three hours away from here. So if you have any, just... <coughs> If you have any unspoken requests, raise your hand. Because I know I have one. My wife had surgery last Sunday and, and uh, emergency surgery. And so it's been a, and my dad's 90 and has dementia. It's been an exciting week at my house. Welcome to Shiloh Pentecostal Church. If you don't know where you're at, you're right here. You're right here where God put you. Amen. We say, well, we may not have a big crowd, but we got here who God wants here. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You know, the preacher's job is to equip the saints to do the work. It's not their job to do all the work. And that's what we're here for. You're going to hear the gospel in song tonight. First thing I want to do is open this up in prayer. Father God, we come to you tonight just praising you for who you are, Lord. We just love you so much. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity to get to spread your word throughout this small community, Father. But Father, to you, this small community can become a large being in the world, Father. We can make a difference for Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you so much for these guys that's come here to sing tonight, Father. I just ask you to give them strength. Father, I just ask you to give them power, give them harmony, Father, as they sing your praises. Father, I just ask that you'd bless each person here, Father, that you'd prepare their heart to receive your word. And Father, if there's one here, just one here that don't know you, Father, I pray that tonight will be the night that you prick their heart, Father, and they come to an understanding and a, and a loving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Father, I just thank you so much for being who you are, Father. I don't know what all's going on in the world. Don't know all the prayer requests that's been here tonight, Lord, but you do. You know each one by name, Father. I just thank you for the opportunity to get to come here and just ask in their behalf, petition you, Lord, for their healing, Father, according to your will. Let us never forget that any way of healing, including death, is just a gift from you. Father, we love you, we thank you, and we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight you're in for a treat. Regardless whether Jimmy Saunders is here or not. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I told you I'd get you back. <laughs> but tonight I want to introduce to you, well, five of my best friends. Five of my best friends. They've been with us on cruises. They've They've uh, sung for Dennis and I when we, was doing, when we were doing the Rivers of Joy Jubilee. And we're going to have them back, I think. If they'll come back, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it may, there's no doubt, Miss Bess. But I want to introduce to you, number one, Tim, who's the manager of the Anchorman. Yeah. My brother, Terry Carter, they'll introduce themselves to brother Will Lane. Chris, I can't remember your last name. Jenkins. Jenkins. I knew that, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> and Brother Phil Hughes over here. Better known as the Anchorman. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. 
says at the sound of a trumpet in the twinkling of an eye, one day Jesus is coming again. You believe that tonight? Amen. And I believe the time is nearing that will soon see his appearing. Oh, this could be the hour, or this could be the Let's go. 